Welcome to the Special Olympics Coaches Training. Today's training will be over the sport of poly hockey. We will cover everything from uniforms, rules, rosters, and even add demonstrations on some of the key concepts of the game. If you would like, follow along with the PowerPoint presentation. Poly hockey with Special Olympics Michigan consists of team competition and individual skills contests. Each team must have a minimum of seven players and maximum of 13. Uniforms must have large numbers on the front and back or on the back and sleeves. Hockey helmets and protective shin guards are required. The goalkeeper must wear a face mask and throw protector. Athletes should wear shorts or sweatpants and athletic shoes. Athletes are not allowed to wear jewelry or denim during the game, and all uniforms must have the Special Olympics logo adorned somewhere on the jersey. Floor hockey sticks must have a plastic cap at the top of the handle and may not be modified in any way, including adding material to strengthen the handle, adding friction tape, or bending the blade of the stick. The center stick must have contrasting tape compared to the rest of the stick. The goalkeeper stick may have a wooden shaft but must have a plastic blade. Pucks must be soft, indoor orange plastic pucks. The goalkeeper must start in the standing position and may go down in front of the goal to make a save, but may not remain on the ground in front of the goal for more than three seconds. A dotted line will extend from the corner of the goal at a 45 degree angle to the side of the face-off circles. The goalkeeper may sweep or toss the puck outside these lines, but they may not hold the puck for more than three seconds. The goalkeeper may shoot the puck using their stick in any direction without the 45 degree restriction, but must remain in the crease to do so. The puck must completely break the vertical plane of the goal. A puck resting on the goal line shall not be considered a goal. Games consist of nine three-minute periods. The clock will stop when a goal is scored or any type of foul is called, and it will resume within 15 seconds. If the game is tied at the end of regulation time, a sudden death overtime period will take place. To begin the game or restart the game after a goal, a face-off will occur. Examples of minor fouls include deliberately holding or stepping on the puck, goalkeeper making contact with the puck when they are not in the crease, a forward or defensive player crossing the center court line, offensive or defensive players going into the crease at any time, or high sticking. Minor fouls result in stoppage of play and a face-off in the offending team's defensive circle. Please be sure to review the PowerPoint for a complete list of fouls that can be called.